G'day YouTube. Today this video is on a Microsoft Office alternative for Ubuntu. Now this is a pretty simple video and I'll get through it pretty quickly. Uh, as default in Ubuntu it has the Office utility or program named LibreOffice. So just find that in your applications menu and click on it. Wait for it to load up and then when it is loaded up you'll be able to see the options that uh, LibreOffice gives you. Now the first one is text document which is just the same as Word document in Office, uh, Microsoft Office that is. And then there is spreadsheet which is the same as uh, Microsoft Excel for example. Presentation which as you can guess is PowerPoint. Uh, drawing which is some vector based drawing uh, image manipulation utility which is great. And then there's database, Libra database, which is really uh, just like Microsoft Access. And then there's this formula one for maths and stuff, that sort of thing. So click on whatever one that you uh, wish to. And when that's clicked on and loaded up, it's quite a fully functioning uh, program for each of them, really. And uh, you can do a lot of things with it. Uh, just with the one that everybody uses, for example, though, uh, the text document one. Uh, it's got a lot of features as you would expect it to just like Microsoft Office does. It does a lot, a lot of things and uh, it's, in fact it exports to the document, the uh, .doc format for Windows users and it also exports to PDF as well which is really, really cool. Um, I think I incorrectly pronounced their names before. Uh, it's actually, the text document is called the Writer, LibreOffice Writer. Impress is the name for presentation documents, uh, PowerPoint documents. Draw is for that vector-based image creation tool. Calc is the spreadsheet or the Excel uh, application. And LibreOffice Base is the Microsoft Access. But uh, when you open the, uh, up the LibreOffice, the icon alone, it just gives you these generic names like text document, spreadsheet, blah, 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 database. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is the alternative for Ubuntu and it's probably already on the on your machine very likely unless you've got an old version of Ubuntu so cheers guys hope you've enjoyed